Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Audrey here. I hope you are all well. So I purchased some new Hoyas. I know I mentioned many times before that I would not buy a new Hoya until we are ready to move because I really don't want to pack all my plans, especially if adding more to the move. I don't even know how I'm gonna move all my plans. But one day I was on Etsy looking for something else. I came upon one of the Hoyas that I really, really, really want to have it. And the, it, the sellers in Florida, the price was really, really good. And the Hoya looks really, really good. So I gave up, I purchased some Hoya. Instead of just buying one Hoya, I had to buy four to make a full package and ship it to my place. Um, I did receive the Hoya. I'm not going to have an open package a video today because I already opened those. I received the Hoya right before we are going out of town for the weekend. So I opened them and check on them making sure they're all good and just uh, put them in the pot and ran out of the door. Um, yesterday I just uh, potted, checked all my Hoya and potted all those new Hoya. So in today's video I'm going to show you what I purchased this time. The first of course I'm going to show you guys the Hoya that I really really want and the whole reason I purchased this Hoya uh, order. Here is Hoya Crystal Patio Latte. I'm gonna put the name in the bottom in case I butcher the name. But look this Hoya is so beautiful. I loved how the leaves looks like. It looks like dry leaves with variations. It's, it's always remind me of the fall. I saw this Hoya many times online. I always want to have it, but I never really can find a good price for it until I found that shop on Etsy. She has so many beautiful Hoya and uh, she definitely carried this one. So I had to get this one. Look how beautiful it is. Hoya come as a starter plant. Even though it's a starter plant, it has really, really long one. So, of course, I had to cut this one into three sections. Uh, I believe uh, this is actually come with the root, this section. And then I cut it two more sections in here to try to uh, hopefully can have a more fuller plant. Um, but yes, I'm so excited to find this plant. It's so beautiful. Next is this Hoya Condensa Samantra. <laughs> I love, love, love the many on these plants. Of course, you guys know how I'm obsessed with those many on the plants. And so I bought this one as a starter plant. Look at this. It's definitely bigger than what I normally get as a starter plant. And of course, cutting wise, this one is a pretty good price. I love, love how beautiful it is. And it looks so healthy. That's how it's come with this. It's come in a smaller pot. So I get the uh, Hoya out of the pot and pot them in the medium. I did have problem with other Hoya in this clay pot, so, but I ran off all the smaller pots and I really don't want to overpot all those new Hoya, so I kind of put this into this shallow uh, clay pot. Hopefully it will good, but if it's not good, I may have to take it out and repot the Hoya. But yeah, so look at how beautiful this one is. Mm -hmm. Now this is the Hoya Indian says look at how cute those leaves are. When I saw this leaf, I have to have this one too. Um, I did put this one into a pot without hole, so I had to really make sure I don't over water this one. Probably just spray it instead of watering it. This is the smallest pot I can find. Um, I have a tendency of over potting on my Hoya. I think that's one reason that some of Hoya has a problem. So this year I'm trying to make sure I don't over pot them. Especially Hoya love to be rude on this like what I heard. So um, yeah, so I put this one into the smaller pot. Just have to be careful not overwatering it. But look how beautiful the leaves are. It's such a beautiful stunning Hoya. Of course, I had to get another Hindu robe. It's the Hindu Compacta Variegated. Um, 
you probably all know if you see, uh, watch my video a long time ago, I actually had two handle rope and it's all died on me and this is gonna be my third one. I don't have a good luck with the handle rope, I don't know why, but I did some research before I ordered this one and found out that handle rope really don't like to be by feet and I think that's the reason that uh, my other two handle rope died. So this time I'm gonna pay attention. I also heard that only, uh, you only need to water handle rope when their leaves started to wrinkled so that's the uh, this is the guideline that I'm going to follow I'm not gonna water this one until I see some wrinkles on the leaves uh, I also pot this one into a pretty area mix um, it's another story I watched somebody else video and they talk uh, they talk about one aerial medium that it was really good for her Hoya and all the other houseplants so I went online looking for that brand it was very very expensive I definitely would not spend that money to repot all my plants um, but funny thing is uh, on their uh, website also shows what ingredient they use in the medium I look at all the ingredients I happen to have everything in my house so I've just mixed my own to hopefully make it right to be a real medium for my Hoya of course the ratio is definitely off compared to you know the brands used but the ingredient wise they are the same I also added some uh, slow release fertilizer so hopefully this time I can make it right for this one mm -hmm. So those are um, uh, four of my new Hoyas added to my collections. Uh, I actually saw some other plants on her Etsy shop that I really wanted. I'm trying to hold myself off a true on it to see if I really want to purchase now or I want to wait it later. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Happy growing! Mm -hmm.